Okay. All right, good luck. Uh, Thank Tom, you. Good luck to you. 30 seconds starting now. Okay. I have an inkling. I want you to confirm it. What architect designed the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Okay. What architect designed the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I, I, I think it's Tay. I, that's one of the answers. That's the, it. The that's other, it. The other three are okay, Michael give, Graves. Michael Graves, no. Frank Gehry. No. And Walter Gropius. No, no, no. It, it's Tay. It's okay. Tay. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. I think she said it was pay, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I knew she'd know it. Okay, I am pay. Final answer. Dorothy was right. First. <laughs> well, that sound means we're out of time for tonight, but you can bet Tom will be back here on Tuesday night. And joining him... Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You know, they say behind every good man is an even better woman. Tom Hoopla from New York City would probably agree. First, his wife knitted him a lucky sweater to wear on the show. And then when Tom got stumped on the $250,000 question, who do you think he called? Well, he called her. She gave him the right answer. But now it all comes down to this. Two questions, one lucky sweater, and $1 million in the balance. What an exciting night that was. It is, yes. Yeah. How do you feel? Well, actually, I feel more nervous than I did the first time. Well, sure. Yeah. You've got a lot at stake here. That's right. And you came back with the lucky sweater. Uh, That's I wouldn't, good. I don't think I should take it off at all. No. What was the reaction at home when you got home? Amazed. You know, people were, you know, my, my wife was there with some uh, friends and some neighbors, and everybody just felt terrific for me feel a lot of support from everybody yeah. that, that knows uh, about it. Uh, Tom is an author, lives up here on the west side of Manhattan, and right. has published uh, about 80 books over right. his uh, career. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe you, your wife might join you tonight so we could all take a look at the woman behind the man. She wanted to do everything just the same yeah. because, you know, there's a superstition or something behind that. Really? She has the same people in the living room now, even though I can't call her. She's there with them, and they're waiting to hear what's <laughs> going to happen. And so your daughter, Ellen, has returned. Nice to see That's you right. again, Ellen. Nice Glad to have you here. So everything's the same. I think so. Okay, buddy. Well, that's great. Now, Tom, we want to wish you good luck. First of all, you know that you've won two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You're now just two questions away from winning one million. You have uh, none of your lifelines left. That's too bad. But if you are ready, are you ready, Tom? I'm, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Audience, are you ready? Yeah, we're all ready. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, two questions. Two questions, Tom. Here's the first one. For $500,000, deciphered in 1952, Linnea B is an early form of what language? Greek, Latin, Russian, Arabic. Not Russian. Linear B. You've heard of it. Deciphered in 1952. Now I know it was too bad I used my lifeline because this is something my wife is very good at language. Again with the wife. Hey, I depend on her. I wish she was sitting in this chair. I'd be. Uh, Boy, you two together checks. would have been great on our oh, couple show. Oh, that would be terrific. I yeah. know. Well, she would know what it was, huh? I'm sure. Very good with language. Linear B. Let's see. Don't think it's Latin. Doubtful that it's Arabic. Greek. You know, I think this has to do with the uh, island of um, Cyprus, and that would make it Greek. And I'm going to make Greek my final answer. Wow, he's going for it. He won a half million dollars.
Tom. Tom Hobo. New York City has won a half million dollars and going for the million. So uh, we have a million dollars here in the balance. And what, would you, what are you going to do with all this money, Tom? Well, my wife and I always like to write about history in different places and so forth. And we didn't get to go to as many of them as we wanted to. Mm -hmm. We did research and so forth. We've been some places, but uh, this been is really... Been to Japan? No, and that's where we, you know, one of the places we'd definitely like to go. We sure. have a good friend who has an apartment there and uh, said she'd let, let us stay there and, uh, you know, really get to see the country. Uh, uh, lots of places that we'd like to go to. Well, you know, uh, you snuck up on me here, you son of a gun. I thought you were going to take the money and run. I finally made the connection. And then you went, bang, final answer. And that was, that's a lockdown, you know. Yeah, I know. And so, uh, but you made it. Good for you. Thank you. So now here's what's at stake. Should you miss this, you will lose $468,000. We don't kid around here. But if you get it, you'll be a million-dollar winner. All the lifelines are gone. You ready for this? I hope so. Here it comes for one million dollars. Let's play. Who is the only Nobel laureate to win an Academy Award? John Steinbeck, Jean-Paul Sartre, George Bernard Shaw, Toni Morrison. I knew I should have looked more at the Nobel laureates. Well, of course, uh, those are all Nobel laureates. Now, which one would have won the Academy Award probably for writing? They have given the award to George Bernard Shaw for My Fair Lady. Toni Morrison wrote a couple of books on, on which very good movies were based. Sartre, that would really be out of left field. And Steinbeck, of course, wrote many novels. Some about California of mice and men and um, the grapes of wrath. Terrific, terrific movies. You don't know what to look for to prepare for this because it's just something that... Uh... Tony Morris. Well, you know, I'm going to let some of these terrific folks that are uh, seated at the fast his finger have their chance regis i think uh 500 should be enough for me and my wife to go a long way I and think so, we'll sure. be real happy with that we understand that yep. so you're going to walk why don't you take a guess or who do you think it is i would say tony morrison no it was george bernard shaw so thank god you didn't get it. Five hundred thousand. Tom. Tom. nice meeting and good luck to you thank you very much and Tom. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, like, oh, thanks. Hi, Doc. Hi, how are you? I'm so proud. It's fabulous. Just wonderful. I'm really, really proud of Mom, you. Mom, you're on television. I, I can't hear through that. Hello? You still Hello? there? Hello? Yes, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. It's just wonderful. Thank you. Good luck. I mean, it's just so fabulous. I can't believe it myself. It's just wonderful. I'm really, really proud of you. Yeah. I you? love you. Okay. I love you too, sweetie. Okay. We'll go a long way on this money. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be home as soon as we can. Okay. okay. I'll All see right. you then. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Lucky guy that Tom is to have a wife like that. And now they can visit all the places they've written about. And by the way, a Nobel laureate Shaw won the Oscar for Pygmalion back in 1938. But now.